Hi guys! So lately I've been getting a couple questions about my painting process when I paint with acrylics. Um, so here's like a super quick video of just a little time lapse that I did today. Basically, um, you want to find the undertones of whatever reference you're looking at. Um, in this case it was quite warm and yellow, so that's the wash that I started with. So I tend to start with the mid-tones and sort of work my way mid-tone to dark and then the really light values at the end. One of the most satisfying parts of painting is when you've got all of these subtle color shifts between the mid-tones and then you finally put down one of the darker areas of shadow and it just really anchors the portrait if that makes sense. And the same with the highlights. The highlights really tend to give life to the portrait at the end and it's really satisfying. I did miss the very end uh, of painting this portrait but I don't really mind because the best parts I actually did film which is starting it and getting all of those values and proportions set up. Um, I actually ended up overworking it a bit at the end in my opinion so I'm not super happy with the way the portrait looks um, at the very end but it was still a fun time lapse so I thought I'd share it anyway. I use flat round edge brushes for most of the portrait. Um, I use a medium sized one or like large depending on the size of the canvas but I use the bigger one first and get all of those blocks and shapes in and then when I'm ready to get into more detail that I can't achieve with the bigger brush I go to a smaller one and right at the very end when I'm doing details like really light highlights and the eyes and stuff like that, that's when I will get one of those tiny detail brushes in. But you can't go overboard with like tiny brushes. I think that's what went wrong with me at the end is I just like got way too focused on the details and that's what those big brushes are good for is that you can really look at the whole portrait and get all of those nice sweeps of colour that together um, arrange to create a figurative piece of art. Just a quick word on the setup of this video, I know the lighting isn't great um, and the overhead camera setup could be better, I'm still troubleshooting it, hopefully next time I get time to make a video like this it will be better so my apologies. <laughs> I hope this gives you a little bit of insight into my painting process. If you have more questions, please feel free to comment them and maybe I'll cover those in the next painting video I get time to do. Alright, cool. See you later.